This is the intranasal medication administration skill. The first thing that we want to do is we want to make sure a patient's being adequately ventilated if necessary. Then we want to make sure the patient has no allergies to any medications that we could be giving them. And we also want to clearly explain the procedure to the patient. From there, we're going to set up our equipment. The equipment that we will need for this skill is our PPE, our needle, syringe, and mucosal atomizing device, our sterile gauze, our alcohol swabs, medication, and our sharps container. After we've assembled our equipment, we need to confirm our medication with our five medication rights. Our five medication rights are our right patient, right medication, right dose, right route, and right time. We also want to check for clarity and a good expiration. Now it's time for us to draw up our medication. We're going to remove the syringe from the packaging. We're going to attach it to our needle. From there, we're going to grab our medication, remove the cap, and clean the rubber stopper with an alcohol swab. Once that's been cleaned, we're going to go ahead and draw up our medication. Once we've drawn up the appropriate amount, we will dispel the air from the syringe. We will then immediately sharps and reattach our syringe to our mucosal atomizing device, also called a MAD. After applying the appropriate PPE, which in this case is eye protection and gloves, we're going to direct the partner to cease ventilations. From there, we're going to come over and inspect the nostrils, looking for the larger of the two, as well as well, the one that is least deviated and least obstructed. Once we've found that, we're going to insert the MAD into the nostril and briskly depress the syringe plunger. From there, we will get rid of the MAD appropriately, begin ventilations if necessary, and observe our patient for the desired and adverse effects.